Now let's look at this uh, hippopotamus, which uh, I have animated some time ago. The voiceover says ha ha ha, so basically he's, um, he is laughing. This is the antic for the laugh, and this section here, as you can see, the animation goes back and forth. If we look at the actual easing graph, you could see it's a zigzag stagger graph that describes this back and forth movement. It affects all the elements in the whole figure and is basically very easily achieved with only two keys. So we have a, an up key and a down key and instead of having a smooth transition between these two keys we go back and forth and we get a nice convincing laughing movement. I'll just hit enter so that we can see this. <laughs> <laughs> I've set up a little example file here and I will walk you through how to use Stagger Twin. There are a couple of keys here, the robot lifts a leg and then uh, settles and then just goes back to normal position. I'll convert these keys to classic twins and then give them 100% easing. And now we have, we have the animation, we can test it to have a look. Okay, now I'd like to apply a stagger to this portion of the animation. I'll choose stagger tween from the commands menu and this is how the stagger dialog looks like. If there's already a tween, it offers us two options, whether to use the existing easing or a couple of presets like ease in, ease out or linear. Now I'll just I'll just use the default settings. I chose medium. If we drag the playback head, you can see the robot goes back and forth a little bit. We can have a look at the zigzag here. If we'd like to edit manually, we can just add more strength to the stagger. You can see it's still eases out towards the second key. I'll say OK and now we can just play back and have a look at our animation. So the robot looks as if he has a bit of rusty joints and he's just trying to move um, unsuccessfully. Any kind of strain or any kind of laughter uh, matching specific parts of voiceovers it's extremely handy and it's very easy to apply even if you need to edit the graph later.